Now, because we're into gate, yeah. <clears throat> Come on, make the kookaburra noises. You gotta rep level up. We auto focus that shit. Alright, been of a hard. Alright, a bit. Alright, it's been a. <clears throat> All right, just to explain what's happening, uh, we're building a fence and a garden bed utilizing the same fence line. So we've run a string at the top to get all the posts in line at the top for when we put our top rail on. And now I'm running a string at the bottom. And because these posts aren't exactly true, they're a bit wavy because they're just logs. Um, I've had to put some packing strips on the bottom so that the garden bed part of this fence, at least those timbers will be straight. And then, we already know the tops are straight to the string for the top rail. So that'll make sense when we start building it. But I just thought I'd explain that now. There's a bit of setup. We've got our string set to the right height. Uh, and we've put some packers where we need them to get all the posts in the same line. And then we will fix our first sleeper, the top one. We'll fix that on. Uh, and then we will just lift the next one underneath and bring it up to close the gap. And that way we know everything will be exactly where we want it. Now we've just got some beautiful cypress here that was milled up locally. We will have to dock the ends off these, that's a part of the game. And then this will tie in beautifully with the other cypress garden bed that we built earlier in the year. Come with me, boy. Especially with all this AI stuff coming out now. The next best thing was Dropbox. Yeah, Dropbox. Yeah, and you hurt is how many times the screen can refresh. Me, 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 me. Alright, just in case I didn't explain it the first time, we only use the fixing gun temporarily to hold everything where we want it, and then we come back later, batten screw to the posts where we can. Where they join, we put a block on the back, screw through that. It's also fixed 
to the full piece below it, keeps them all in the same plane. And then these pickets we cut off later. You just cut them below the sleeper and they'll get buried in the dirt. And then we screw to those as well. So the fixing nail is only really temporary and then everything gets screwed together once we know it's in the right spot. This for a tripod, the old crowbar. Job done. All right, I'm at the end of a day here, but I just want to show you and tell you what I've done back here. Now, the water tanks need protecting because the ground I'm standing on is going to be uh, filled uh, and topsoiled just to get the living area behind the camera over there, get that much nicer. It's going to be the main living and entertaining spot that's outdoors, so when the weather's better. But the point I'm getting at is we've done the holes. We've got the steel sleeper support to go in. The holes are dug and I've actually backfilled them with a little bit of concrete, about 100 mil. So why I've done that is because we're using steel uprights and concrete sleepers, when they're timber, you can put the timber in the ground as your post and cut it to the right height. So it doesn't actually matter how deep it is. Uh, and timber's actually lighter too, so it doesn't sink in the concrete as much. With the steel, it sinks. You also don't want to be cutting it because it's galvanized. You don't want any cuts at all. Otherwise, any attempt to stop it from rusting is just gonna fail long term. So here I've had the laser out. The holes were dug too deep deliberately and then I filled it back up with concrete to get each hole to the exact right depth. So when we go to put our supports in, uh, they'll be sitting on a footing and then we put more concrete in later just to stop the supports and the uprights stop them from moving out of position so the beauty of this is if it rains and the holes fill up with water or they fill up with mud or one of the holes collapses overnight or over the weekend it doesn't matter we can dig the holes back down to that concrete footing uh, and we know they're going to be the exact right depth uh, and we also know each post is going to be at the right height as the sleepers step down and follow the slope of the land so let this dry overnight or over the weekend. We'll come back and we'll start doing some more fencing and getting these steel uprights in their holes ready for the sleepers. It's been a hard day's work putting all these posts in. I didn't really film it, but they're in. You've got to work to a string. You've got to get them plumb in both directions. You've also got to get the distance between each post to suit concrete sleepers so that you're not cutting them. So I was doing all that on my own. I was supposed to have help, but they caught in sick. So we'll let those cure and then we'll come back.
All right, I'm in the car and I just want to update you on a bit of the earth moving that's happening. It's a bit noisy out there because the machines have already started. So with this job in Balnaring, there's two different phases. One phase, the first phase kind of already happened, which was kind of neatening up all the soil after we removed the veggie boxes and filling in the dam and just kind of smoothing things off in that area. Now, when that happened, it was all just dirt and mud. The grass has grown back now, but it's still a bit um, up and down and it's been torn up a little bit from when we drilled the holes for the fence. So the other thing we were waiting on was the retaining wall, which is now built. That retaining wall is there to protect the water tanks. If we puncture one of them, we're kind of ruined. So they're protected and they're going to help us get some nicer levels with the earth uh, from the house to the shed uh, and down to the orchard. There's a lot of crap laying around near the pool. Uh, we've got some topsoil here to dress the area that was smoothed out previously and to dress up near the retaining wall. This kind of round of earthworks is going to tie all these separate areas together. All right, because this place is so big, I'm just going to try to give you some perspective of where we are, where we're working. So you can see the house behind me. Uh, I'll go for a walk. There's kind of this little bit of a tree line and a bridge. We will change all of this, but this is the pathway towards the pool. And as you can see, this is where all the earthworks are happening. A couple of sheds over there. We'll get this all nice and neat. Uh, obviously, we'll be landscaping through here. We will be continuing work on this pergola. We've only got these posts in because they were inside the slab and the rest of the posts to come will be outside of the slab so they will be done later temporary pool fencing just for now concrete slab will get tiled so there's a lot of work to happen around this pool and then just a little bit of earthworks to tie in all the work that happened here tie it in with the paddock and kind of make it look natural again so all right so walking back towards the house now and so what we have is this big area from the sheds, all this area, and the house. So we're trying to kind of connect all of this. It's been very disconnected uh, when the property was first purchased of the previous owners. There was all kinds of just sheds and veggie boxes and just, there was no line of sight and it just felt very disjointed. So to bring it all together, you can see we've got some topsoil here always hard to tell with heights on camera but um, there is a bit of a dip here uh, and so there'll be a bit of an entertaining spot just over there where the cars are parked uh, and a nice view down towards those trees and this paddock so a part of all of that is getting the heights right now the retaining wall is finished and as you can see there's a big step here it's all a bit low and crap so we'll try and neaten this off and once again, a bit of a hole here. And just crap, just leftover concrete and rocks and clay. So we'll jazz this up a bit. We want to turn this vacant piece of grass. It might look good on camera, but it's full of holes and rocks and crap. So this is going to get top dressed again. There you go, there's a lump of concrete. All this is going to get top dressed and it's going to become an area for some sport kicking the footy or playing cricket, something like that. Hello. Good. Yeah, I need to put a bit more topsoil on this soil. It was fucking so wet yesterday. It was a real struggle yesterday. 